Come on, come in. We have to introduce the them. Daily Purge. All right. The Daily Purge. The yes, Daily Purge. Live from Peru, up here in Cusco, 14,500 feet. 3,200 meters. Yes, and for you non-meter um, readers, that's 14,500 feet above sea level. And yes, the air is thin. But people were asking us, what, what are you guys doing there? And what are the medicines you're working with? And, and things like that. So we wanted to uh, explain what San Pedro is. And Mark Myberg, this is his compound with his family. And Mark's been working with uh, San Pedro as 18 a... 18 years. 18 years as a master Pedro um, specialist. Hey, Scott Simons, how you doing? And we wanted to just go into it. But before we ex have the uh, technical explanation, or the spiritual explanation from Mark... Um, why don't you tell them what San Pedro does for you, and I'll tell them what it does for me. Yeah, so uh, every time I have a San Pedro ceremony, it's, it's different every time. Some of the first times was really profound in, in the connection and the masculinity, and we've talked about that before. Yeah. But it's this, uh, this idea that filling your own cup up first and then allowing that, uh, that filling of your own cup to then splash out to everybody around you. And then being able to know exactly when to provide. And that's true masculinity. Of course, there's a lot of topics around that. But for me, that, that was one of the most profound sessions that I've ever had. Um, what about you, brother? Yeah, well, you know, it's that masculinity. That's that humble masculinity. And this place right here, right in front of that Maluka, is where we came up with the, the title Humble Alpha. And that's because the alpha is full on the inside. The power that we have is fully on the inside, right? And then there's the humble, and that's on the outside. You see a lot of people take their power and give it to, you know, towards hate, towards uh, deflection, towards animosity. They're giving their power away. So what San Pedro does, it's, they call it the father, uh, it's a grounding force. And this plant medicine really brought me to the point where I understood that that outside, that loud, that brash, that alpha, that everyone knows as a bit negative, uh, was only me trying to express who I really was with words. But through Pedro, you learn to express who you are with presence. Exactly. Right. And this presence is amplified by your identity and your purpose, which we, we read about in the book. And so that's what I take away from Pedro every time. That's why we keep coming back, because it solidifies the certainty in life for who we really are. And only then, when you know who you really are, your identity, is your purpose clear and the path is clear. And that, that again, creates that certainty. So, Mark. Yeah. Come on uh, in. Talk so, me something, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> he's a little nervous. So what, what, are the, what are the aspects of Pedro? What do you do when you start a session, and how does it, how does it affect people, or how does it work for you? Okay, well, uh, first it's called Wachuma in, in Quechua, uh, the native language. And uh, Wachuma means uh, feeling. It actually means like uh, going, going uh, within uh, in Quechua. So it's all about a feeling in your heart space. Uh, obviously, it's a cactus here from the Andes. Um, it's uh, been been around for over 10,000 10, years for healing purposes on the physical uh, and on the emotional side. Yeah. yeah. Tell me yeah. What, what more. Yeah, well, <laughs> how, how, what's the session look like and how, does it, how long does it take? Okay. So um, it comes in a liquid form. Well, there's two forms, a powder or liquid form. Uh, here in the Malacca, we actually drink it. Um, it's, a, it's a preparation of about uh, 20 hours boiling it. We select certain points of the cactus, a seven, which represents perfection, and the nine, these are the points around the cactus, which is wisdom. And that's what we're actually drinking within all this, um, let's say, wisdom that's been generated from, from uh, evolution before us even within the plants that we digest in, in us. So it has a, a lot of wisdom before, you know, even humans uh, were around. So um, as I said, it heals uh, on the physical, um, how it's, uh, it, it tells us how we can heal ourselves, what we've been holding um, uh, back in our lives, or, or what's, uh, what else can we call it? What problems yeah. or issues, problems, and, yeah. th things that we're holding on to, how to, how to let it go, uh, because th that affects the emotional side of us, which can bring illnesses. So um, it, it heals um, in, in so many levels, you name it, 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 it can heal. Um, there, there are no limitations to it, really. Um, what else can I tell you guys? I think that was a pretty round uh, explanation, okay. man. You really, really deep. I learned some, something new there today. I've been working with it for five years, and here we go. Yeah, yeah. there we go. I love, the oh. I love the evolution part. Tens of thousands of years yes, it's been yes. growing, and we, we ingest that, and we take it into our system and allow ourselves to, 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 to grab that force and use it for good. Right, yeah. Man. And well, and it's because when it's filled with wisdom, it allows whatever experience that you need to have at this particular moment in time to be had. And 
part of our process is, is just setting your intention and then allowing that intention to be realized by the medicine because the medicine is much wiser, more powerful than we ever could be. And we're, we're just um, here to, you know, do exactly what we need to do. And that's, that's exactly what we come here for is clarity, certainty, and purpose. That's right. And that is just setting that intention. Well just in set, just in setting that intention in everyday life makes a huge difference, massive difference in your life. Setting that intention, fulfilling those steps that you need to take to get towards that intention. But what we're doing here is actually massively solidifying that and who we are, so that we can actually let go of the how. Lane talked about that yesterday. Letting go of how we're going to reach our mission, how we're going to, you know, find that past the certainty. What is it that we're looking for? And once we find all that, and we create that certainty through the plant medicine, it is incredible. Your life happens. Your life happens, and here it comes. Uh, typically, you don't always get what you want, but you always get what you need. Oh yeah! Right? Oh yeah! <laughs> Good to go. Yeah. And you don't, and you don't have to have plant medicine to set powerful intentions. Exactly. It's just part of the dance of life, and this is a powerful way to get, you know, exactly what you want—the clarity, the purpose, the certainty. But you can do that every single day, and that's what we do. And so, right. by mixing, you know, these powerful intentions that, you know, in a in a normal state, whenever we get into these expanded states with medicine. It just amplifies it that much more. Yeah, and and yeah it, it, uh, it connects us to nature. That's the, ma the main thing, to Pachamama or, or to Mother Earth, uh, just showing us that everything is energy. Um, ev ev we are all one at the, end of the, at the end of the day. It's all energy, and uh, it connects us uh, to these energies uh, to show us this. And um, so, yeah, that, that's yeah. also a very important part of it. And some of you might, might be thinking, well, Lane and Steven, you guys are business guys. What the heck are you talking about here with energy and vibrations and things? Well, that's, that's the power we have. <laughs> if you want to know the secret, <laughs> it isn't, you know, the book, Unleash Your Humble Alpha, a lot of what you read in there came from these sessions, came from working with Mark and his family, came from San Pedro, came from Ayahuasca. You know, it's coming from a combo as well and some other, uh, other medicines as well. It, it's all a part of the dance of life. And for that, we're going to dance. No, I'm just kidding. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no, no. Here we no, go. Okay, so uh, we're just out here enjoying a, bit, a little bit of life. And we encourage you to do the same, regardless of what's going on in the world. As we talked about yesterday, it was difficult getting here, but there was nothing going to stop us. And when you set that intention and you're so certain with that intention, then guess what? It happens. And that's what we wish for you. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, yeah. Well, you know, it's also, it's important to say, you know, people go to psychologists for years and years and sometimes there's no solutions. One session of San Pedro, it just, it just sorts you out in, in one shot. It's, it, it helps, you know, just to, as, as to leave, leave the past behind, be in the present, in, in gratitude, and uh, it shows us what we're capable of, you know, beyond there, beyond us. And it, it can give us a, a glimpse in, uh, into that. Amen uh, to that. Amen. A lot of people think right here. And that's yep. okay to think here, but live from yep. right here. You Boom. know, in the medicine. That's what Pedro. Pedro. Yep, that's exactly. right. We call that, in the book, we call that your internal nuclear reactor. Boom. All right. Okay, everybody. Boom. Have a fantastic one. <laughs> We're looking forward to sharing this with you. We're looking forward to your feedback. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll send all of your emails, as many as you can, to Mark. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. You take care, and remember that one thing. It's all about quality of life. life. We'll see you tomorrow.